Hey journey goers, welcome back to the Zen Den. Today's class is going to focus on our shoulders and our neck. So a lot of us um, tend to live our lives in this forward action, whether we're driving, computering, texting, um, doing dishes, laundry, the majority of our lifestyle is with the shoulders hunched forward and the neck slightly um, forward as well. So today we're just gonna focus on creating a lot of length on a lot of space. Um, some things I will be using today. Two blocks will be used. Uh, you can grab some hefty books and substitute those. I'll also be using a strap, which you can use a towel or a scarf. And then I just have a blanket down here so that my knees are a little bit more supported and some of the postures we'll start out in. To begin, we're gonna come into puppy pose. So puppy pose is a huge heart opener, a really great way to get into our shoulders and it can get super uncomfortable at times. So if you're coming with me with the blocks, you're gonna place both blocks directly in front of you. Send the knees back underneath the hips and then place both elbows, tops of the elbows down onto the blocks like so. We're gonna hold for about a minute here. So when the mind starts to freak out, breathe deeper. Here we go. So soften the elbows down onto the blocks. You can bring the palms together to touch and then slowly melt the chest down in between the blocks, resting the forehead on the earth. And just stay here. Start to turn on that breath. Breathing into the tension that's being released from the shoulder area. Using your breath to bring the mind into the body. If at any time you need to readjust, feel free to move. This is your posture. You want to feel really good in it and like a lot of space is being created. A lot of tension is being released. So make sure you're really enjoying it. Continuing to cycle those deep breaths through the body. Using our inhale breath to locate where the tension's being stored. And our exhale breath to release it, giving the body permission to open up. We're about halfway there. Stay with the breath, stay in the present moment, feeling your body tuning in. Noticing that the way we react to our postures on the mat can directly mirror and reflect upon how we operate off the mat, yeah? So taking our practice off the mat using these times of relaxation and meeting our tension to help us integrate and cultivate ways to do this off the mat as well. Let's take 10 more deep breaths. You got this, stick with it. Really let the breath open the chest and shoulders. Five more deep breaths. Send that inhale to where you're holding on. Last two rounds of breath. Last big inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. 
slowly release the palms down. Oh, lift the gaze, the chest, ah, ah, and walk it back in. It can be really intense, I know. So coming into toe stand, just walking the hips back. So curling the toes under, walking the hips to the back of the mat and resting them right on top of the heels. If this is too much for you, no worries. I recommend bringing a block in between both heels and just gently resting your bum down. You can also uncurl the toes and just rest right here, yeah? But I know for me, I wear a lot of high heels at work. Um, it feels good to really release the, the underbelly of the feet. So coming into this toe stand position, letting all that tension release out from the feet. Let's come into some neck stretches. So hands rest atop the thighs and just allow the chin to come to the chest. Breathe here. On the next inhale, roll the head over to the right. Right shoulder reaching for right ear and then just let the left fingertips dangle down by your side. Actually let both fingertips dangle down by your side and breathe into the left side. I know your toes are talking to you. Two deep breaths here. On the exhale, release it back down through center. Take it over to the left. We've got three breaths. Reach the fingertips down, breathe into the right side of your neck here. One more inhale. Exhale, chin back down to center and inhale back up to neutral. Let the fingertips slide forward, plant the palms, untuck the toes and gently pitter patter them out, bringing some blood back into it. Coming into a um, thread the needle posture. So keeping the blanket here for that nice knee stability. Let's start with the right hand planted down into the earth. Inhale the left arm high up to the sky. Reach through those fingertips. Really broaden across the chest. And exhale. Thread it through. Left palm comes down. Left ear and shoulder come down. From here, the right hand can stay planted. I like to reach it forward lately. This is feeling real good in my practice. And we're gonna hold for 10 breaths. Get comfortable. Allowing yourself to surrender and soften into the pose. Allowing yourself to stop holding on here. Allowing yourself to be present with your body as you experience all the different emotions and feelings. Five more breaths. If you'd like to bind, you can take the right hand and wrap it around, catching the top of the left thigh. Always an option. Stay with it. Two more rounds of breath. If you're bound, release the hand back down to the earth root down into the right hand, inhale the left arm back up and high, and exhale, plant it down into the earth, moving over to the other side, inhale the right arm high up to the sky, really reach through the fingertips, broaden across the collarbone, exhale, thread it through, right shoulder, right ear, right hand coming down. You choosing what to do with your left hand. So you can keep it rooted like so, elbow up towards the sky. You can stretch it nice and long, extend it out in front of you, or bind. We've got 10 deep breaths. I'm gonna do half and half.
halfway there. If you want to switch up the grip, I'm going to move into that bind. Left hand reaches around for the top of the right thigh. And stay here. Really practicing presence, being on the mat with your body, with your breath. Sending that breath to your shoulder. Last big inhale. Exhale to unwind or bring the hand back in. Root the left hand into the earth. Push all the way up and inhale the right arm high. One more time. Big breath. And exhale back down to tabletop pose. From our tabletop pose, let's go ahead and stand up to our feet and work into some wall work. So you're going to want to find a wall. Um, I'm gonna use this little thing kind of like a wall. And let's start with our right hand. Excuse me, blanket. Let's start with our right hand directly planted into the wall, okay? So you wanna be right at shoulder width height and the arm extend it out to its full length. From here, keeping the hand, your left hand on your left hip, start to walk the body to the left. So twisting. Only go as far as comfortable for you. You're gonna feel really deep stretch all across the right pec, the right shoulder, down to the right forearm and wrist. This left hand can rest wherever is comfortable. We're taking five deep breaths. Two more rounds of breath here. Last big inhale. And exhale to unwind back towards your wall. This time take that right hand and slide it up a little bit farther up ahead of you. So I would say about almost a foot higher. And again, take an inhale breath. Exhale to walk to the left. This time, listen carefully. I want you to bend the right knee and then round the chest and bow the head. Oh yeah, you should be feeling it. It should feel really good. It could be a little bit tingly all the way down to your wrist. Let's take three deep breaths here. Last inhale. Exhale to straighten the right knee. Walk it back in. And release that hand. Just do some shoulder circles. Anything that you need to do to bring that blood back into the body. And let's go ahead and switch sides. So left hand plants directly into the wall. Shoulder width height. The arm is extended out nice and long here. Inhale breath. Exhale, walk it over to the right. You're going to notice that one shoulder is a lot more open than the other. Let's take five deep breaths here. Using our inhalation and our exhalation to locate and then release the stored tension. So the tension that we just build up from everyday living. Two more rounds of breath. Allow yourself to enjoy this. Last big inhale. Exhale, walk it back over to the left. And then let's walk those left fingertips up a little bit higher, about a foot higher. And then big inhale. Exhale, walk it back to the right. Whew, I can feel it. And then we're gonna bend the left knee and bow the head. Melt the chest. Three deep breaths. Last big inhale. Exhale to straighten the left foot, left knee. Slowly walk it back, release. Do some of those shoulder circles. And then find your way back to your mat. We're gonna stay standing. Interlace the hands behind the head, moving into some standing cat-cow poses. You want the feet hip-width distance, rooting down through all four corners. 
I want you to hug the belly button up towards the sternum, so up towards the heart, as you sink the tailbone down. Okay, so you can see it happening in my body right now. My belly button just like bleh. Okay, we wanna hug it all in. There we go, bring everything into alignment. Now interlace the hands behind the head. Send the elbows nice and wide. On an inhale breath, reach the heart up to the sky. Let the head spill back, big inhale. Exhale to round into yourself. Hug the belly button in, head and neck drop. Three more times, inhale, rise up. Opening and exhale, round and close off. Inhale, rise up. Make a lot of space. Exhale, round and close off, hug in. Last time, big inhale, open. Exhale, round and close off. Inhale, come back up to neutral. Release those hands down and find that strap. Strap, scarf, towel, whatever it is you're working with today. So I really love these. They're really intense, but so good to open up those shoulders. So you wanna take the strap out in front of you and it's definitely your wrist should be more than shoulder width height or shoulder width distance. Let's start with the strap down by our hips and then on an inhale breath, make sure you're using all four corners of the feet to root down into the earth. On an inhale breath, start to lift the arms straight up to the sky. You're gonna notice where you need some extra room and the hands are gonna slide out wider and exhale the strap behind the back. Ooh, yeah. Go ahead and inhale it back up and high. Exhale it back down towards the ground. Let's do that four more times. Inhale it up. Exhale, let it melt down behind you. Really feel that opening. Inhale it back up. Exhale, release it down. We got three more times. We're gonna be nice and open. Inhale it up. Exhale, open the chest, open the shoulders, open the arms, let it go. Inhale it back up. Exhale, release it down. Halfway there, two more times. Inhale it all the way back up to the sky. Take that strap with you, make a lot of length. Exhale to open and release it behind you. Take your time. Notice where you start to get stuck in the transition. Inhale it back up and high. Exhale it back down towards the ground. Last one, you got this. Inhale it back up. Exhale, release it back down behind you. Ah, feeling a lot more open. Last time, inhale it back overhead. And exhale it back down. Keeping that strap in your hand, let's bring the strap behind us. And then, hmm, how do I explain this, right? You're gonna bring the strap back behind you. Let's see here. Yeah, here we go. So you wanna take the right hand, the strap, and take it r straight up, and then the left hand straight down, and really open across the right side here, okay? So the strap is doing like a diagonal type thing in the back. Take two deep breaths into that right side, and then we're gonna switch. So you're gonna have to switch the grip Bring the left hand underneath the strap. Take the left hand nice and high and the right hand down towards the ground. Oh yeah. Two deep breaths. Last inhale. And exhale, let it go. Release the strap, scarf or towel, whatever you got working with. And that's it, we're gonna make our way down to Shavasana. So I'm gonna use two blocks. If you have a bolster and that's something you'd like to use to open your heart, feel free. 
This is one of my favorite ways to open the heart and shoulders after a nice long day of sitting at my cubicle. So if you have that blanket, you can use it however you like. I'm gonna just roll it up a little bit and put it under my knees. So here we go. This is a version of Matsi Andrasana fish pose. We take the first block on the second height and this goes directly under where our bra strap is. Yeah, gentlemen, you're gonna have to just envision that. The second block is on the tallest height and it goes right at the base of our, of our skull. So right at the top of the neck. Really make sure you get comfortable here. Once you've got all that, you're feeling real long and open. Allow the shoulders to just completely surrender down to the earth as the arms rest down by your sides, palms facing up. Let's... It's about to rain here, so the thunderstorms are really talking to us. Let's take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Another big inhale. Exhale out the mouth. And now your only job is to surrender and open and soften. Enjoy the space that you just made all that tension that you let go of so that you can welcome the new. Relax into it, Shavasana. starting to hug the arms back into the chest, bring the forearms down into the earth, supporting you to lift the head up off the last block, and then start to slowly lift the chest up. Coming back into a seated position to end our practice. Once you get to that comfortable seated position, sit up nice and tall, energy through the crown of the head. Sweep the arms out to the side, big inhale. Let the palms meet all the way at the top. And exhale them down through heart center. Connect your thumb into your heart, Anjali Mudra. Your heart center. Take a big inhale. Open the mouth, let it go. beautiful eyes. Thank you so much for stepping on the mat today, for giving yourself the time and the space to allow yourself to release and surrender and soften. Like I said, it's all about 
making space, releasing tension so that you can invite new things into your life. So yeah, again, thanks for stepping on the mat. We'll see you back here in the Zen Den soon. Namaste, yogis.